There's two kittens here. They were born in the wall. Jill was telling me and they had to take them out of the wall and they, they can't walk or anything. They kind of just roll around. Open up so we could see it. They had to take the wall apart to get them out and everything. Come on, Mama. But hopefully they'll get muscles and be able to walk. So you just roll around. Come on, Mama Muff. Poor little babies. What happened to your babies, huh? Your babies can't walk. Your babies can't walk, huh? Come on. Come on, try to walk. They were just in the walls and they... Look at them, they just stumble around like that. That's amazing. I'll keep keep you all informed on their development if they have any. Otherwise they have to spend their lives just cripples, I guess. That's all they do is just stumble around. Can you imagine spending the most part of your life in a wall where you can't move and Mama's gonna take care of them. Mama doesn't know what to do. Then I got crippled retards for babies, don't know what to do. Get some more of the retarded cats for really. Having their lunch. This is the wall they're in. They had to take that metal off to get them out. Jill was wondering if uh, they can't walk because either their muscles haven't developed or there's a lot of insulation in there and it might have gotten in and caused them brain damage. As I told her, time will tell. Or it won't. Hey, Jill, Boo, was, Bing was really cooing a lot. Oh, what's that? Or Fern. She really is. She's adorable. She's really a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> but then she was crying a little later. <laughs> I'm starting. I want to get the Bumble Brothers there. Yeah. It's a new breed of cats. They're yeah. called roller cats. Oh. Those cats were in the wall. And they were born in the wall down here. We had to take the metal off the outside right? to get them out. So they haven't walked since they, just they were stumble born. Around. The black one's starting to get it. He's, he can get himself up. And well, I'll tell you, he's not ready for any triathlon or anything yet. yet. <laughs> Little dog go take care of him. She licks at him and worries over him every now and then. Good Molly, you will not die. Come on. Come on, Molly. Stand up now. They can sit up and eat now. So. And boy, when mom comes around, that black one can get to her. <laughs> Getting it. Yeah, I see you a little bit more. Yeah. When we first brought them out, they couldn't even get up, you know, from like playing. Oh, gosh. And it's just not sweet. Oh, it's so sad. 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 And they have. The black one definitely has. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay. It's puppy. That's a little dog. Huh? Hey, how are you? I like a little uh, G-pop. Yeah. The, uh, the, the orange color cats make better uh, good mousers and ratters, you know, better than, uh, of all the colors. Better than. Yeah. That's a nice view. <laughs> yeah. So they have, what's this called now? Cerebella hypo something. <laughs> so what the cats well, we have. We have it right down. Yeah. I'd like to look it up and read about it. Yeah, look it up on the internet. Yeah. What the cats have is a disorder or nothing. 
under underdeveloped underdeveloped cerebella which controls the equilibrium yeah, yeah. i had that a lot when i drink beer <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> that's exactly exactly what they have actually i do have vertigo you know it's like an inner ear thing when i get up yeah. Uh, yeah, if you get up too fast or... Or right, even laying in bed, I get it if I'll turn. That's how it first came about. And I, the first time it happened to me, I, I thought... Uh, it, I had chest pains. I woke up in the middle of the night. At one point, I turned over, and, and I had to grab the bed because it's like the bed is revolving. Mm -hmm. I thought this must be what it's like when you're dying. And I really did because I woke up with chest pains. And um, then next morning, I called my sister, uh, you know, to take me to the emergency room. And I described to her, oh, she said, oh, I have that too. He said, so does the other two sisters. And, and I looked up on there and that, and it's um, yeah. ear thing, you know, yeah. what thick kind I have. I, and it doesn't bother me when I'm up and moving around, you know, it's just like when I'm laying down, shift from one position to another or stand <laughs> up from laying down. Yeah. Where are you cool guys going? Real bad. My cat was supposed to have been a girl. I preferred a girl because I thought it'd stick closer to home, but as it was, just having them neutered is good enough. I had never really had a cat neutered before, but I had mine neutered, and, you know, like I said, it was supposed to be a girl, and then after a couple months, I was like, wait a minute, he's developing something back there. Uh -huh. <laughs> this cat is. Wait a minute, huh? This girl's growing something. <laughs> this is the school groups that we do. Is your thing off? Huh? Little kitties. Hey, go up and videotape Bing again. Apparently, this little girl's in a cage. A friend of the family, she was in a cage with her, and Bing didn't want her to leave, so she had her cornered and had her arm in her mouth and legs wrapped around her. Come on, kitties.